When Claire was first diagnosed, you know, Connie and I didn't know what to do. We just were baffled. We had suspected that she had cancer, you know, in the days leading up to it, but how to move on from there and what to do. I, mean, I truly believe that every parent wants what's best for their child. That's what we want. I mean, we hope for, you know, a great life for them and you know, ways that we can provide. And, you know, everybody has a different definition of what they think is best for their child, but one constant remains the same. If you're a parent, you want what is best for your child. But cancer changes everything. Uh, you know, what's best for them at that point in time is completely different from what is best for a healthy child. You go from you know thinking about college to thinking about you know kindergarten, their future, you know, and, and planning for them to thinking about you know are they going to be alive you know in three months? Are they going to be alive in six months? And that's what we're trying to provide here. You know, what is best for your child at this moment? What is best for parents and families who are battling pediatric cancer? Because that's all we have are moments and life can change in a second. I mean, if you're a parent right now and you look at your child, you have to realize that that could change at any moment. I didn't think it was gonna be our family. Claire didn't get sick any, not once, until she was 10 months old. And the diagnosis, you know, hit us in the chest and just took the wind out of us. But, you know, God specifically, you know, calls us to fulfill a purpose to do what he needs us to do in life. I had talked with a family who lost their son you know, a month after Claire died, and we actually named our son after him, Derek. And when I was talking with them, we just kind of looked and we said, you know, when we were battling this, you know, we were just looking at the most basic necessities of human life. You know, wake up in the morning, have a healthy child, you know, eat, you know, have water, and that was it, you know, and we got back and everything else just seemed so small and that none of this mattered anymore. And so we have to look at our life and we have to realize, you know, what matters, what matters most. And we hope and pray that this is something that matters to you, that we can continue to provide for these families on this level. So we ask that you support us and continue to support the Claire Parker Foundation.